Now let's look at permutation with conditions. In how many three digit numbers can be made from the integer 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 if each integer is used only once? Okay, so let's uh, solve question 1 first. So we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 digits there. So if the integer can be used only once, uh, so here will be 5, 4 and 3 yeah, because we want to arrange 3 digit numbers so there will be 3 blank spaces and then we just multiply everything so we get 60 here and for question number 2 there is no restriction on the number of time each integer can be used okay, that means um, the number of integers that can be used can be more than 1 eh? it can be repeated Okay, the meaning of this sentence is it can be repeated. Okay, so there will be five choices for the first place. Okay, and then an another five choices for the second place. And also five choices for the third place because uh, we can repeat the integer to be used more than once. Okay, so five uh, times five times five is 125. Okay, let's move on to example 2. Find the number of arrangements of 4 digits taken from the set 1, 2, 3, and 4. In how many ways can this number be arranged uh, so that the number begin with digit 1 and the number do not begin with uh, digit 1? Okay, but uh, the question does not state whether it can be repeated or not. So, we just assume that no repetition is allowed. Okay, so let's look at uh, question A. Okay, for question A, the number begin with digit 1. Okay, so there is only one way here. Okay, it can only begin with digit 1. And then after we take out digit uh, 1, we are left with three other digits. Okay, so the answer will be 6. And then uh, for B... Okay, the question states that the number do not begin with digit 1. So the number can begin with either digit 2, 3 or 4. So there will be three ways. Okay, and then we are going to take one digit out from there. So we take one digit out and uh, what's left is we are left with three more digits. Okay, so the answer will be 18. Or we can use uh, the other way. We can take arrangement of 4 digits without restriction, which is 4 factorial. And minus with arrangements of 4 digits that begin with digit 1, uh, which is 6. Okay, this is the answer that we obtained earlier. Okay, so the final answer will be 18. So now let's go to example 3. So the problem is uh, four sisters and two brothers are arranged in different ways in a straight line for several photographs to be taken. How many different arrangements are possible if there are no restrictions? So if there are no restrictions, I'm going to arrange six person because we have four sisters and two brothers. So we have six person. So the way to arrange uh, six person is just 6 factorial okay, which is equals to 720 now let's see the arrangement if two brothers must be together so we have uh, two brother here so they must be together so I'm going to treat them as one unit okay, because they must be together we are going to tie them together and then we have four sisters here and then I'm going to calculate uh, this is one unit, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so the arrangement will be five factorial. And then multiply with, okay, among them, okay, they are going to arrange uh, with each other. So times with two factorial. So the answer will be 480. Now let's look at example four. Now let's look at example 4. Arrange 6 boys and 3 girls in a straight line so that the girls are separated. In how many ways can uh, this be done? So we have 6 boys, 
So I'm going to write that six boys here. But the girl must be separated. So that means girls must occupy places here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven places can be occupied by that three girls because they must be separated. So arrangement for boys will be six factorial for six boys. But for girls, we have seven choices. But we must arrange for three girls. So seven P3. And then we are going to multiply. So six factorial multiply with seven P3. So the answer will be one five one two hundred. Now let's look at example five. There are ten students out of whom six are females. How many possible arrangements are there if they are arranged in a row? Okay, so we have ten students. Uh, so for question A, if they are arranged in a row, okay, without any condition, uh, the way to arrange them is just by using formula 10 factorial okay so the answer will be 3 6 2 8 8 0 0 okay so that is the arrangement for the 10 students without any conditions and then for question b uh, male always sit on one side and female on the other side okay so we have uh, six females and automatically we have four males okay so that six female uh, must sit on one side okay and that four males must sit on the other side okay so the way to arrange uh, six female among them we have six factorial and then multiply with four factorial uh, for the four males and then we multiply with two factorial because uh, this two factorial is for arrangement of the group of male and female that means male can either be on the left or female on the right or vice versa so we multiply with two factorial so the answer will be three four five six zero now let's move on to example six a witness to a hit and run accident told the police that the plate number contained the letters axn Okay, followed by uh, the first digit which is 5 so the first digit is 5 if the witness cannot recall the last two digits but is certain that all three digits are different find the minimum number of automobile registrations that the police may have to check uh, so all together we have how many numbers we have to list okay, we have number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so these are all numbers in the world okay but we must rule out 5 so that means we are left uh, with 9 other choices okay for this one and then because the number are all different so we are left with another egg okay for here it is only one way because the witness uh, is certain okay so 1 times 9 times 8 so the answer will be 72 number that the police have to check 72 plate numbers